got this 4K camera from Vijanger to review, so let's take a look. It sounds like an amazing affordable camera with a selfie screen, making it great for a vlogging camera. So I'm really intrigued. Let's see how this one does. It features 48 megapixels, 16x zoom. You have an instruction manual, two batteries, which right off the bat is kind of awesome because most don't buy an extra battery. So that's huge. It comes with a USB charging cable, a wall plug, and a charging dock. So you can charge both batteries at once. It comes with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, a detachable lens, and the moment of truth, the camera. Ooh la la, she is cute. Here is the big feature, which makes it great for vlogging, this selfie screen. Love that. The screen comes nicely protected. In the manual, we have a nice visual guide of all the parts of the camera. It supports class 10 micro SD cards to 256 gigabytes. I'm really impressed with all the stuff it comes with. Now let's see how it works. Locked and loaded. It's very late. Let's turn it on. Welcome. It's a nice big screen. The interface is really basic, but that makes it easy to figure out. This is the built-in mic, and then here is the hot shoe if you want to add your own mic right there to mount it. So here on the side, you've got a mic jack, your USB and HDMI interfaces. Flash, your menu, display. So here's the menu. You've got uh, all of these you can go through, and then these. So again, it's fairly basic with the options, but I gotta be honest, I only ever use the basic ones, so not having all the extras that I don't even use, uh, kinda nice. Here's the tripod mount on the bottom, of course. Full on selfie mode there if you wanna put it on the tripod here. Both sides, you can put on a wrist. I like it. It's a nice feel. It's lightweight. It's beautiful. All right, I'm shooting with a new camera off the bat. I'm gonna tell you the audio is awful. The internal mic terrible. You're going to need to use an x mic if you're planning to film video and audio with this camera. Other than that, it did a decent job. Keep watching and I'll go over the features and show you all the photos and the videos that I took using this camera. There's not really much wind going on. We'll walk around with it a bit. We'll run around with it a bit. Ah! <laughs> My neighbors have gone crazy. I am having a wee bit of difficulty with the focus here. It should be focused on my face. I think it keeps kind of going in and out of focus. I'm not sure what's happening. Let's go over here. Yes, he's a good boy. Yes. Hi, hi, hi. What you doing, Mia? I'm um, on my tablet. Um, trying to make a burger. A burger. Oh, see, I'm walking. I'm walking. Hi. I have no experience with external lenses before, so it took me a minute to figure out, but basically the smallest part screws off and it just screws on here. And then this is the lens protector you just Pop it off. Digital, high definition, 0.45x, super wide angle lens with for Japan optics. Here we are using the widescreen lens, and this is using the regular lens. And then you can just unscrew it if you're not going to need a wide angle, which the wide angle is really great for getting a wide view. But if you don't need it, this is really heavy. It doubles the weight practically, so you can leave that off. This one is really hard to unscrew. The middle one is going to be the macro for shooting really tiny things up close. This is with the macro lens on. Let's give that a try. Here are some pictures I took using the macro lens. It gives a really great detailed close-up. I really like it. It has a decent flash. Here's one I took in a pretty dark bathroom without the flash and then using the flash. Here are some pictures I took using the standard lens that comes on the camera, nice and lightweight, without the additional lenses on it. Did a pretty good job. My takeaway, it is a very affordable, decent camera with some extra bells and whistles that make it 
fun for a budding vlogger or someone who's just getting into photography, needs a selfie screen, needs a wide angle lens and wants to have a little extras like the slow-mo and the time lapse and stuff like that. The internal audio is pretty bad so you're gonna need an external mic. You can use either the hot shoe or the mic jack here. It's really easy to get the data off. You just hook it up with the a USB cord it comes with and connect it directly to your computer and slide everything over. Really basic interface, easy to learn how to use it. Uh, overall, decent camera for a great price point.